so sorry. I need to adjust that. Sorry about that. Okay. Sorry if the camera's a little, a little crooked. But, um, so in today's video, I will be doing a whisper ramble. Um, I just filmed like 20 minutes of a whisper ramble. And come to find out, my mic had come loose. My mic, 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 mic had come loose. So if this video seems a little rushed, it is just because I have long storage and I have also tried to film this video multiple times. So my patience are a little low. But uh, yeah, today's video is just going to be a whisper ramble and let's just get into it. So I am holding the mic. I find it interesting, but it 
then I realized, I realized, I was like, oh my gosh, like, I have to, like, this is gonna be a once in a lifetime experience, you know, I maybe, I, I mean, because they're such talented ASM artists, I knew that they were gonna get e extremely popular, like, I, I just knew it, and I'm sure pretty much everybody did, because they're amazing, so I didn't want to pass up the opportunity, even though I looked like utter shit, excuse my language, but, so, I, my heart's racing, I go in my room, I shut my door, I'm like, okay, we're gonna remember I met I remember first I messaged Grace and I was like are we supposed to call because I think her post had said taking snapchat calls and I, I like my th the second guessing part of my mind was like there's no way she's actually calling fans like that would be too good to be true so I was like maybe she's talking about business calls because like I was ex so excited at first but then I started to sit like there's no way like once i had actually convinced myself to do it, i was like there's no way so i messaged her and i was like are we supposed to call and she was like i think she replied with anyone can uh -huh. and i still have the message on my instagram <laughs> i'm pretty sure i still have the message on my instagram but um so i called and within seconds she answered and maddie was there too and i got to talk to both of them for a couple minutes and it was crazy. Like, I was just as excited talking to them as I would have been a super famous ASM artist or just a celebrity because they're amazing and they're my favorite ASM artists. Honestly, like, I don't get into the big ASM artists. Like, no shade to them at all. But I just don't really care for bigger ASM artists. I just, um, well, obviously, Matt's ASM and Grace V, they are big ASM artists, but I'm just saying I don't like the, like, the ASMR is that like do super edited like extremely fancy backdrops to different microphones like I'm just not really into that vibe I like more simple videos with just like the Yeti or the Apple mic which is what Grace B and Max do and I love that but anyway um I was so happy getting to talk to them and I actually got guested by quite a few different people that year I was really lucky to be able to get guested by quite a few different people and then get to do this snapchat call with Matt and uh, Maddie and Grace but um like literally out of every single person I got to talk to that year that was famous um my favorite was definitely Matt and Grace uh Maddie so I don't know why I keep saying Matt her name is Maddie but her channel's Matt so I'm getting confused but literally like um, to think that they even know who I am is insane, like, because I remember I, uh, had messaged Maddie, like, on her ASMR Instagram, like, months before we had actually, like, talked, and, 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 and she, um,
affects us. It's just amazing. I've been, I'm sorry, I've been talking about that for a while. But, yeah. So, like I said, she's probably never going to see this, but if she did, I would literally, like, go crazy. Like, I just had to say thank you because she literally is the, regardless of if she is going to see this or not, I had to mention that she is, like, the reason that I wanted to start filming ASMR. So, yeah. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? Um, I do want to mention, like, maybe how I started watching ASMR. So, the funny thing about how I started watching ASMR is I used to watch this YouTuber, Megan Jessica Marie. Megan Jessica Marie. Megan Jessica Marie. Megan Jessica Marie. Jessica Marie. And she, it was a video clear back from 2011, and it was a makeup tutorial, and it wasn't ASMR. But her voice was so relaxing, and I thought I was nuts for finding her voice relaxing because I didn't know what ASMR was. So I thought I was nuts for watching that video a hundred times a day because I found it relaxing. But come to find out, ASMR was a thing, and I discovered ASMR shortly after that. And I was obsessed with an audible whispering, still am. I love an audible whispering. Um, I love tapping, especially steering wheel tapping. I don't know why, but. I like love car ASMR, like where people will like tap around their car, tap around their car, tap around their car. Oh, sorry, I almost dropped my phone. Again, that's gonna be a little tilted, but I'm sorry. Uh, so yeah, and I also really love trigger words. I love uh, whisper rambles. Um, sorry, I have lipstick on my teeth. I need to stop.
anyway, I, moving was definitely a hard transition because we lived in the same house for 26 years, and I lived in the same house my entire life, so my full 18 years, my full 18 years, my full 18 years before we moved, and it was a difficult transition because I had only ever known one home, one neighborhood, one area my entire life. That was where the best memories happened, the hard memories happened, the, you know, just everything I ever went through my first day of school, my first dentist appointment, the first time I had to go to the ER, you know, anything, like, <clears throat> Yeah.